equations and factorization. The types of equations we'll look at are first of all are pairs of linear simultaneous equations with two unknowns and complex coefficients. We'll also consider later on quadratic equations with real coefficients. In the middle we'll consider factorizations of quadratic functions and cubic functions. Now, all of this is going to uh, involve a lot of addition, subtraction, multiplication and divisions of complex numbers, so I hope you've been practicing those operations. For our first example, we'll solve uh, a pair of simultaneous linear equations. So the first one will be 3z plus 2 plus i times w equals 5 minus 9i. We'll call that equation 1. And the second one is 1 minus i times z minus 1 plus 2i times w equals minus 7 minus 6i. And we'll call that equation 2. So we'll solve them for the unknown variables z and w. Now there's a number of methods that we could use to solve these equations, but here we'll only use two of them. And the first one is elimination. Now if you look at equation 1, you'll see that the coefficient of w is 2 plus i, and it has a plus sign in front of it. And when you look at equation 2, you see the coefficient of w is 1 plus 2i with a minus sign in front of it. So what we'll do is we'll eliminate the w and get an equation involving only z. So we multiply equation 1 by 1 plus 2i and equation 2 by 2 plus i. And then we'll get equation 3 and equation 4. Now I want you to look very carefully at equation 3 and equation 4. Make sure you understand where they come from. And then we add equation 3 and equation 4, and that will uh, eliminate the term with the W. So we'll get an equation entirely in Z. And so uh, once again, I'll leave you to expand out uh, all those brackets and, uh, and add and subtract uh, the complex numbers and reduce the equation for Z down to 6 plus 5i times Z equals 15 minus 18i. Well then of course z will be 15 minus 18i over 6 plus 5i. We know when you divide by a complex number you multiply top and bottom by the conjugate of the bottom. So we multiply uh, the, the, the number by 6 minus 5i over 6 minus 5i. Make sure you work all that out and, and verify that Z comes out to be minus 183i over 61, and that simplifies to Z equals minus 3i. We substitute Z equals minus 3i into equation 1, and we get minus 9i plus 2 plus i times W equals 5 minus 9i. And the minus 9i's will cancel out. So we'll end up with 2 plus i times w equals 5. And so w will be 5 divided by 2 plus i. And we know when we divide by 2 plus i, we multiply by 2 minus i over 2 minus i. We, we do that and simplify, we get w equals 2 minus i. So the solution will be z equals minus 3i and w equals 2 minus i. Before we go to our second method of solving the simultaneous equations, the method is called Kramer's method, we'll just go over a quantity that occurs in that method, and it's called the determinant. Now, what we call a 2 by 2 determinant is uh, an array of numbers written like in, at the corners of a square and inside two vertical lines. So we'll have our vertical lines and inside we'll have the numbers A1, B1, A2, B2. Now the determinant is defined to be A1 times B2 minus A2 times B1. So you start at the top left hand corner with number A1 and go diagonally down to the bottom right hand corner multiplying B2. Then we, as we go across to A2 in the bottom left hand corner, we subtract and A2 will multiply diagonally up to B1 
in the top right hand corner. So we get A1, B2 minus A2, B1. So for example, the determinant of 5, 2 minus 6, 3 will be 5 times 3 minus minus 6 times 2. That'll be 15 minus minus 12, which is 27. And another example, the determinant of 4, 6, 6, 10, 4 times 10 minus 6 times 6, that's 40 minus 36, which is 4. We will now look at a method of solving simultaneous equations which uses determinants. This is called Kramer's method. Consider the simultaneous equations a1x plus b1y equals c1 and a2x plus b2y equals c2 where the determinant of a1b1, a2b2 is non-zero. Then Kramer's method for the unique solution of these equations is x equals the determinant of c1b1, c2b2 over the determinant of a1b1, a2b2 and the y equals the determinant of a1c1, a2c2 over the determinant of a1b1, a2b2. Now we'll solve those two simultaneous equations again, but this time we'll use Kramer's method. Remember that the equations were 3z plus all of 2 plus i times w equals 5 minus 9i, that was equation 1, and 1 minus i times z minus all of 1 plus 2i times w equals minus 7 minus 6i, and that was equation 2. Now, the determinant of the coefficients, that is uh, 3, 2 plus i, uh, 1 minus i, and minus all of 1 plus 2i, the de determinant of, of the coefficients, that will become minus 3 times 1 plus 2i, minus all of 1 minus i times 2 plus i, and that will all come out to minus 6 minus 5i. And that is non-zero, so the equations will have a unique solution. Now, the solution will be given by z equals the determinant of 5 minus 9i, 2 plus i, minus 7 minus 6i, and minus all of 1 plus 2i all over the determinant of 3, 2 plus i, 1 minus i, and minus all of 1 plus 2i. W will be equal to the determinant of 3, 5 minus 9i, 1 minus i, minus 7 minus 6i, all over the determinant of 3, 2 plus i, 1 minus i, and minus all of 1 plus 2i. Now we'll have a look at the expression for z, and we see that the determinant on the numerator, that expands out to be 5 minus 9i times minus all of 1 plus 2i, minus all of minus 7 minus 6i, times all of 2 plus i. And the determinant in the denominator, we've already worked that out. We know what it is. It is minus 6 minus 5i. Now, the expression in the numerator, that will all work out and simplify down to minus 15 plus 18i, and it will be over minus 6 minus 5i. And we know how to divide into a, a complex number. We multiply top and bottom by the conjugate of the number that we're dividing by. And so we'll multiply by minus 6 plus 5i over minus 6 plus 5i. And you work all that out. It all simplifies down to minus 183i over 61 and that reduces to minus 3i. So z is minus 3i. Now we'll take a look at the expression for w. In the numerator, the determinant uh, expands out to 3 times all of minus 7 minus 6i minus all of 1 minus i times all of 5 minus 9i and the denominator is minus 6 minus 5i, as we've seen before. Now, 
the numerator uh, that all expands out to minus 17 minus 4i and that will be over minus 6 minus 5i. Now there's a lot of minus signs there. We can get rid of them by multiplying top and bottom by minus 1 and that will give us 17 plus 4i over 6 plus 5i. And then to divide by 6 plus 5i, we multiply by 6 minus 5i over 6 minus 5i. That all works out to be 122 minus 61i all over 61. And that's w equals 2 minus i as before. It's time for you to get out the pen and the paper and attempt exercise 1. Using the elimination method, solve the following simultaneous equations. 1 minus i times z minus 2 plus i times w equals 1 minus 7i, that's equation 1. And minus 1 plus i times z plus 1 minus 2i times w equals 1 plus 3i, that's equation 2. Now the method is very easy. You all know how to do it. However, with these problems, uh, you have to concentrate very hard and make sure you don't make any mistakes with plus signs or minus signs. It's very easy to make mistakes with plus signs or minus signs here. What I'll do on the next two slides, I'll give you a guided solution so that you can uh, have a look and see whether you're on the right track. Uh, but stop the video now and attempt exercise one. You multiply equation 1 by 1 minus 2i and equation 2 by 2 plus i. And this will give equations 3 and 4. I won't read them all out. You can look at it very carefully. And then you add equations 3 and 4 and that will eliminate the terms with the w. And so on the left hand side we'll only have the terms with the z and on the right hand side will have the terms with uh, no variables. And this will simplify to minus 4 minus 2i times z equals minus 14 minus 2i, which gives that z equals minus 14 minus 2i all over minus 4 minus 2i. And that will come down to z equals 3 minus i. I would substitute z equals 3 minus i into equation 2 because it's got the plus sign between the term with the z and the term with the w. Now, you have a lot of uh, simplifications, but you'll eventually get 1 minus 2i times w equals 3 minus i. Hence, w equals 3 minus i over 1 minus 2i. And this will reduce to w equals 1 plus i. So the solution is z equals 3 minus i and w equals 1 plus i. And if you got it, well, that's a very good achievement. For exercise 2, we'll use a different pair of simultaneous equations. Using Kramer's method, solve 1 plus i times x minus 2i times y equals 7 minus i. That's equation 1 and 3i times x plus 1 minus i times y equals 6 plus 7i, that's equation 2. Again, stop the video and uh, attempt this by yourself, but in the next two slides I will give you a guided solution as before. The determinant of the coefficients that's the determinant of a1, b1, a2, b2. In our case, will be the determinant of 1 plus i minus 2i, 3i, 1 minus i. And that will expand out to 1 plus i times 1 minus i minus 3i times minus 2i. That all simplifies to minus 4. And that determinant is non-zero, so we know we can use Kramer's method and obtain a unique solution. What I might do here is actually work out the other determinants first. Uh, the determinant which corresponds to C1B1, C2B2, in our case will be the determinant of 
7 minus i minus 2i, 6 plus 7i, 1 minus i. And that will all expand out to 7 minus i times all of 1 minus i minus all of 6 plus 7i times minus 2i. We uh, expand that out and uh, simplify it. It all comes out to minus 8 plus 4i. Similarly, the other uh, determinant, which is uh, represented by the determinant of A1, C1, A2, C2, for our case, will be the determinant of 1 plus i, 7 minus i, 3i, and 6 plus 7i. That will all expand to 1 plus i times 6 plus 7i minus 3i times 7 minus i. Expand that out and simplify it. You get minus 4 minus 8i. Using the results of those determinants, by Kramer's method, we have x equals minus 8 plus 4i all over minus 4, and that gives x equals 2 minus i. Similarly, to find y, we have y equals minus 4 minus 8i all over minus 4, and that gives us y equals 1 plus 2i. Hence, the solution is x equals 2 minus i and y equals 1 plus 2i. How did you go? I hope you did well in those two exercises. If you have not already subscribed to our channel, can you please do so? Now, in Lecture 5 Part 2, I'll be talking about the factorizations of uh, quadratic and cubic polynomials as well as the solution of quadratic equations using the two methods of completing the square and the formula. So don't miss Lecture 5, Part 2.